This is the eighth in our series of videos about the nine personality styles of the Enneagram model. We're gonna talk about personality style eight, striving to feel powerful. Eights interact with the world by striving to feel powerful. They're action-oriented self-starters and they love to be in charge. They focus on getting things done and overcoming any obstacles that might get in their way. When they overdo the striving to feel powerful, however, they may not adhere to the rules or norms that other people expect them to adhere to, and they can seem a little bit uncontrolled in their actions at times. When stressed, eights may fear that if they uh, become too connected to uh, others or experience their own emotions, they can become vulnerable and not as effective at being leaders as they'd like to be. The chief asset that the eight has is their passion. They're robust and they're energetic and they bring great passion to whatever they undertake. Okay? Um, when Eights interact with other people, what they like to see in them is confidence, they like to see assertiveness, they like to see somebody who stands up to themselves, for themselves and has a lack of pretense. What they like in others is confidence, they like a lack of pretense, and they like straightforwardness. What they dislike in others is timidity or uh, passivity, rigidity, and bullying. They can frustrate others because eights can seem arrogant. They can seem hostile and they can seem very stubborn. The approach to problem solving that the eight has is that things will work better if I'm in charge. Okay? They want to be in charge, they want to be leaders, and they just can't explain it. It's just something that feels part of their system, part of their DNA almost. And the belief they have about work is that things work best when they're in control. When other people look at eights, they see somebody who is honest, who's straightforward, who's self-confident, uh, who's fun-loving and strong-willed. But when the eight is under stress, they, others can see someone who's perhaps too blunt, uh, too excessive, reckless, and again, arrogant. Eights get into trouble when they tell themselves that the world's not gonna give me a break, so I have to go out there and take whatever I can get and form my own way in life. The leadership style of the eight is what we call the commander. It's, uh, eights love to be in charge. Uh, they're decisive, they're bold, they're confident, and they inspire these qualities in other people. Eights tend to create space for other people to uh, feel these qualities, to become stronger and more confident themselves. The downside to this personality style, the dark side to the leadership way, is that uh, the eight can be arrogant, hostile, demanding, and very often they can seem like they're more focused on their own agenda than what's best for the good of the group. Where eights really shine is when the going gets tough. Eights are strong-willed, assertive, they're confident. So when things get hard, they don't fall under the pressure, they stand up to the pressure and they give space for other people to stand up to the pressure as well. The communication style of the eight, again, very easy to see. They tend to be um, somewhat quiet at first, but once they get going, they can be very uh, forceful, passionate, and opinionated when they are engaged on a topic. They expect others to have strong opinions as well, and they expect other people to be able to stand up for and defend those opinions. Eights tend to be very impatient and often fail to hear other people out, tending to form opinions quickly and wanting to move on. So when you're interacting with an eight, you wanna make sure that you are standing up for yourself, that you are confident in your point of view, that you're pushing back when the eight pushes on you. This is how eights know who they can feel confidence in, who they can trust. So if you are an eight, hopefully you've learned some things about yourself and what you might do to uh, be more effective in your interactions with other people. And if you work with an eight or know an eight, hopefully you've learned a few things that will make your interactions with them more effective. If you wanna learn more about the Enneagram Type Eight, you can find out about our Personalities at Work program at awarenesstoaction.com or you can contact us at info at awarenesstoaction.com.